Welcome to Devon. Wow, I'm so glad that I detoured this way because <laughs> this is just gorgeous. Look at it. Now, I don't often do this, but I've stopped for a cup of tea. Actually, that's a lie. A cup of coffee. I've still got a bit of a way to go. Um, <clears throat> I've nearly made it to the top of Brat Tour. Run out of energy, so I'm going to finish my lunch that I started down by the waterfalls. Uh, have a nice brew. Pick me up and then uh, get on my way again. to Devon there's something about having well a couple of things one a full tank of fuel in the car <laughs> some of you may know what I'm talking about I think this kind of harks back to the days when I had a motorbike and there was something about physically seeing a full tank um, when you'd filled it up with petrol and knowing that that tank could get you so many miles. It was a kind of freedom about it. And I think that still lives with me, that there's something about having a full tank of fuel in the car and knowing um, that that can get you about 600 miles. But there's also something uh, about having an entire day ahead of you. Not being in a hurry, knowing that you can take the time and you've got a bit of time for reflection. It's a great privilege really and I'm just conscious not a lot of people probably get a lot of time to do that. And to be in a place like this and um, in fine weather and just have a picnic, <laughs> lunch and uh, a cup of hot chocolate. So I don't take that for granted, but it's one of the things I really enjoy about these trips. It's the getting there and being able to take your time to do that. This is Brat Tour. And uh, just over there, centre of frame now, that is Arms Tour. And then over that way, that further peak, right in the middle now, that is Great Links Tour. I think that's probably where I'm going to be headed this evening. Wow, what a place. And I want to be over there rather than here for tonight, because if it does clear, and it may not, but if it does clear, I want a view to the south-southwest, which is where the Milky Way core will set tonight. Chances are though it's going to be cloudy overnight. So uh, here's a conundrum. This is where half the uh, cows on Dartmoor have come to and they're surrounding the path that I want to travel to get up there to uh, Great Links Tour. Which is a bit of a pain really. After my altercation with cows down at Durdle Door, I'm not sure that I want to go through the middle of them. I might have to skirt around them. 
which is a shame because it's not very easy going once you get off the path. Well, life is about to change for me a bit and, um, and it's quite likely that uh, from here on in I will not be able to post as often as I have and um, it's probably going to end up being about every every month or so rather than you know a lot of, a lot of the time for last year it's been weekly not always but uh, but most weeks and um, and that's got harder to do for some really good reasons like becoming a granddad which is which is brilliant and um, but also uh, at the um, tender age of 54 uh, from next month I'm going to become a full-time student and, uh, and I'm going to start doing a three-year degree and uh, and that's going to mean that together with uh, two days a week of paid work I'm going to have a bit less time to do some of the uh, some of the things like this that I presently um, enjoy and and I have really enjoyed it but a year ago, my, uh, my full-time work went down to three days a week and I determined then that I was not going to waste that two days a week. And, um, and I embarked on all of these adventures and I've got to say, uh, it's been brilliant. And so it's been great. I've just loved being able to do this. And, and I will keep doing it, but the chances of me getting out a couple of times a month, I just don't think it's going to happen because I'm going to have some fairly serious very fairly serious studies uh, to get my teeth into and if I'm honest I'm really relishing it uh, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward I really am looking forward to, to doing that but I miss I will miss this and, um, and I want to keep doing this stuff as well so I will endeavor to do a bit of all of it uh, my two days a week working being a granddad um, being a dad and um, and doing the degree and occasionally getting out and doing some wild camping and some photography. Do you know, it's been funny coming back here to Arms Tour. It's very different to the last time I was here. And, uh, and I was worried that coming back, it would kind of seem like I hadn't really made a different trip. Uh, but actually, I've discovered new stuff. I, you know, like the waterfalls that I shot earlier. Love that place. Absolutely amazing. I've met different people. Uh, I took a different route. Uh, but I think it's time to wrap up Arms Tour now. Get on up to Great Links through all the cows, if I can make it. Uh, get set up for the evening and uh, have something to eat a bit later. And hope that the clouds part a little bit so we can have a nice a nice sunset. I really don't think the asteroid stuff's gonna happen tonight, but it would be really nice if we get a bit of a sunset. Towards the south, we can see the sea. Towards the, uh, the northwest, we can see the coast. Last time I was here, I could see well, about as far as that rock there. Time to eat. Come on. So, like an idiot, I forgot to bring a spoon today. So, this is my spoon. Good luck with that. Thank you.